video of a mystery woman singing in the middle of a California subway, but so far she hasn't been named. The only member of her audience was a Los Angeles police officer who recorded this video and posted it online looking for her name. That's O Mio Babino Caro. You didn't think I knew my Puccini arias, did you? People are calling her the question mark with an angelic voice. Well, here in the Miami Valley, it's barely even fall, and across the rest of the uh, states, in fact, but it feels more like winter in parts of Montana. The historic winter-like storm threatening 10 million Americans could bring as much as five feet of snow. It started after a cold front with strong winds moved in, followed by a low-pressure system. The National Weather Service has issued a winter storm watches and warnings for parts of Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming. I didn't like playing that video, Molly. I don't choose it. I just have to read over top of it. I know, right? Uh, fortunately, it still really feels like middle of July here, even though we're in the fall now. Yeah, that's right. And we will be continuing to deal with some heat as we look towards the upcoming week. Matter of fact, today we did reach a high of 91 degrees. And this ties the old daily record of 91 degrees set in 1905. And the next heat wave that could be anticipated will be coming. And I'm going to have details on that that in just a few minutes. Let's take you straight to Greenville right now. A live picture. You can see dry conditions across the area. Temperatures are starting to cool down. We are into the 60s and we will continue to fall into the 60s as we head throughout the rest of the night. Partly to mostly cloudy skies, but we are expecting to stay dry. Live Doppler 7 for skiing skies for you every 60 seconds. And you can see that we are dry. We did see just a few little showers move through the Miami Valley earlier, right around dinner time hours, and that was from a cold front that moved through. But that is way well out of the area, and we will be seeing dry conditions until the next chance for rain. Speaking of that, we will be expecting a few showers, maybe even a possibly a thunderstorm to move through on Sunday. I'm going to time that out for you in just a few moments. Monday, Tuesday, and even into Wednesday, though, an area of high pressure will move into the Miami Valley. And not only will it bring dry conditions, but very warm temperatures. And just wait to see how warm we're going to get. Tomorrow's planar temperatures will be climbing into the middle 80s, partly to mostly cloudy skies for the day. And then as we look towards the dinner time hours, that's when we'll start to see the chance for a few showers and maybe even a thunderstorm. Tomorrow, if you are planning to go to the Mum Festival, temperatures will be into the 80s. Don't forget to wear the shorts and maybe even a tank top because it will be hot. And keep an eye on radar. Let's time it out for you on Future Cast. You can see we wake up and get the day started right around 10 a.m. We will be dry, taking you through the lunch hour, continuing to stay dry. It's right around the late afternoon hours when we start to see a lot of those temperatures begin to rise is when we start to see the chance for showers and maybe even a few thunderstorms. That activity will continue uh, to have that chance for dinner time, but once we lose that daytime heating, a lot of those storm chances will quickly fizzle out. Average for this time of the year is right around 71 degrees. Monday and Tuesday, we will be expecting temperatures to climb into the low 90s and Wednesday approach 90 degrees. So be sure to drink plenty of fluids and be weather aware as we look towards this upcoming week. By Thursday, cooler air will filter in, and that will also uh, give us those temperatures that will be slightly cooler. Heat index values will stay into the middle 90s as we look towards Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then once again, by Thursday, we will start to feel like 80 degrees. Here's a look at the five-day forecast for you. Once again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, staying dry. The next chance for rain will arrive in the forecast on Thursday. DHL is looking to hire hundreds of workers just south of Dayton. How many positions they need to fill and how you can apply for one of them. Clemson and Alabama get all the attention, but are the Buckeyes just as good? It's hard to argue with the results right now. We'll take a look at the latest blowout next in sports. Stay right there.